Hi everybody, it's Martin, back again with another vlog. It's been a while since I did one, uh, I've been kind of busy with a lot of things. Kind of got pushed to the side, but we're back um, for episode 5. So, um, I think the last, the last vlog was just about the end of March or April. Uh, I've just come back from the Maldives. And I've actually, I've not done as much fishing since then as I would like. Um, been out, I've been out with float tube a bit uh, for bluegill, bass, uh, fishing, but uh, like frog pop frogs and stuff for for the bass. That's been fun. Hopper droppers and the wee bluegill. Um, it's been quite enjoyable. Um, but then the rainy season hit, and although it was short, it was pretty intense this year. Uh, and it's just been super hot since then, but it's now cicada time. There's, there's dropping on you as you walk along the street, even in the city. Um, so we'll be going out, hopefully getting a few, hopefully getting a few small mouth trips and stuff uh, with the cicadas. Um, although, I mean, even the carpet that have been quite lethargic with this heat, but we'll see what happens. Um, my first offshore trip this summer, unfortunately, was cancelled because of the weather, thunderstorms, so we couldn't go out. Um, but there'll be, there will be uh, another trip or two before the end of the summer, hopefully for mahi, tuna, and the like. Um, I'll stick a link at the end of the video to uh, the frog fly that I've been using most when I've been in the tube. Um, for anybody that's not seen it, it's it's quite a good wee frog, works well. Um, so I've added to the Patreon um, a sort of members only content. There's going to be a monthly uh, tutorial that I put up. I've done two already. Uh, for um, I think I did. I'll train as Noble Chernobyl was June and then uh, the July one was like a carpenter ant. Um, basically, it's for anybody that, like, that pledges a dollar a month, there will only ever be one uh, a month. So you don't, you don't need to worry about getting charged loads. Um, the reason being, I was kind of like to give like, something for that. Like, um, as well as like the, the giveaways, because I'm still miles away from having enough uh, enough patrons to make the giveaways sort of viable. Um, I've had a few, I've had a few messages on like, Instagram and things, and about it, about Patreon. Um, the, it's it's fairly simple. Like, there's guys asking me to tie things like, um, like small. Smaller dry flies, you know, like can you do a Griffiths knack, can you do comparadons, this kind of stuff. For me to do that, I need to buy a lens, basically, right? Uh, I've done them, I've done smaller stuff before, and they've no, but the videos have been kind of no great. Uh, and I changed my camera setup last year, and basically, I, I can't film anything really much smaller than like the hoppers and stuff that I'm doing just now. Um, and it makes no sense for me to go and spend six hundred dollars on a lens for flat to tie flies for folk on video. Um, so that's that's sort of what made me start the Patreon, basically, um, to like kind of support, cover the costs and all that. And I'll, I'll be very happy to tie those flies, but. Again, I don't let. Like, I mean, it's it's quite it's a big outlay, uh, and anything that gets any any money that comes into the Patreon will just be ploughed back into fly tying materials or stuff for the channel. That's it. It's not going to send me on a holiday or anything. Um, so the book uh, this this episode is Ed Mitchell. Fly fishing the saltwater shoreline. Um, 
It's all about like inshore fly fishing really, fishing from the beach and the like. Uh, it's mostly based around lit stripers, bluefish, mini toy and stuff. Um, obviously in the US uh, uh, Eastern Seaboard, but there's, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, especially if you're sort of out with the tropics. This is a great resource. Um, I, I, I would say it's sort of essential reading for anybody that's interested in exploring saltwater fly fishing. I know it's becoming increasingly popular. Uh, and uh, you know you can you can get put off when you first start because you're you've not got you're used to rivers and lakes or whatever and you're getting this ocean. This book helps break it down a wee bit. Um, obviously, it's not a substitute for having a guide or whatever, but it will help you to sort of um, get to grips with it. Um, as always, I'll put an Amazon link uh, to the book. In the description, if you choose to buy the book, I'd love it if you um, use the Amazon link. It won't it won't cost you any more money, but I will get a small kickback from Amazon. Uh, also, uh, I'll just put a general Amazon link, and if you, if you wished uh, to sort of support the channel again, you could um, just bookmark that as your Amazon page. I'll do Amazon UK and Amazon.com. Depend, so if you're either in Britain or if you're in the States or Canada, which is where most of my viewership is, um, you can, you can if you bookmark that, again, and just use that as your Amazon, it will cost you nothing, it will have zero impact in your life actually, but it might fund a macro lens for me to start tying like Calabatis and stuff on video for you as well. Um, the last thing on this this episode is um, I, I can now definitely confirm that I'm going to be tying flies at the Malaysian International Fly Fishing Festival. Um, the public days for that are the second and third of November. There will be like casting instruction, um, like so. I think Paul Arden from Sexy Loops is going. Uh, Peter Moss from Australia, along with some other um, casting instructors and that. Uh, I'll be tying alongside people like Dron Lee, Hans Van Klinken, they'll be there. Um, I'm sure if you're watching if you're watching us, I'm sure you've heard of those. Uh, there'll also be some other tires from uh, the Philippines, Indonesia, China, uh, which will be quite interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing what they're doing. Um, maybe kind of interesting, different. Uh, so. I'm really looking forward to that. I'll be spending a week. Um, I'm going to be better to do some jigging, oops, which are obviously no fly fishing, and catch up with some of the guys that were in the Maldives trip. Um, so, thoroughly, I'm thoroughly looking forward to that. If anybody is in the area, it would be great to see them. And if you if you're there, come stop and say hi. But uh, yeah, so that's it for this episode. A wee bit short and sweet, but. Um, that's it, I've not, there's not much news basically uh, at this time of year, so thanks, thanks always for watching my videos and I'll try to keep them coming. Tight lines guys, bye.